We're making a bunny ring with 20 gauge wire. Use your very fine round nose pliers to make the eye, twist it around and tug it a little bit so the eye becomes smaller. Straighten the wire as you need and then put the round nose pliers again, bend it up for the ears, twist it around to form the first ear, push it up again, and twist it around for the second ear and then bend it going towards the back and curve it around with your thumb. Then we're going to twist it around and start to form the nose. Give it a little bend and stick the pliers again. Bend it forward for the front paw and bend it back. We're going to keep this design very simple so just another little bend for the back leg bring it around and then push it a little bit to make the sort of the back of the foot and then back like that. Put a little pan or round form in if you need to round the back a little bit more and then hold it firmly and twist the wire around to close it for the back there. Pinch it in with your tweezer nose pliers. Give it a good little pinch so it holds and then round pliers again to make the tail. Bring it right around to form a nice little circle and just adjust it how you need. Hold it with the flat pliers, bend it around and then we are going to clip it so the end is gone and then we're just gonna pinch it in with the flat pliers so there's no scratchy bits. Now get an 18 gauge wire twist it around for the band on your ring mandrel and then get your pliers and bend the wire up at a right angle. Measure how wide you need the distance to put the bunny. Hold it with your pliers, bend it straight up. This is my preferred method to make rings with charms and a lot of the animal rings. So now we're going to slide the bunny on there. Uh, one end in the tail and then help it with your pliers a little bit and use your round pliers to bend it a little bit more. Put it back on the ring mandrel, adjust it, pinch the wire back so it's firmly in place. Remove it from the mandrel, tug it a little bit more with your tweezer nose pliers and then we are going to clip it with the flush cutters and get our tweezer nose pliers to pinch that little pokey end in. Don't want it scratching your finger. Push it right in so it holds in place. Same thing on this side. Give it a little tug with your flat nose or tweezer nose pliers and clip it. Remove that little end. Pinch it so there's no pokey ends. Just get it right in there. Put it back on the ring mandrel. Do any adjusting that you need. And voila, there is your bunny ring.